Hey there, and happy President's Day weekend. I'm Doug Mosier, and in honor of our past commanders and chiefs, I thought I would enlighten you with some facts about former U.S. presidents that you may or may not have known. Like, for instance, there was only one president that never married. Do you know who that was? Hang on to it. We'll get back to it. How about the first president to ever wear long pants? Believe it or not, it was James Madison. James Madison, the first president to wear long pants. How about the first president to ever be photographed? That would be John Quincy Adams. The only president to ever be divorced. Do you know who that was? Think about it for a second. And the answer is Ronald Reagan. How about the president that fathered the most children? Do you know who that was? That was President John Tyler. He fathered 15 children. Imagine the noise around that house. How about our heaviest president and the one that gained the most weight? Yeah, if you said William Taft, you were absolutely right. He gained 50 pounds while in office. But ironically, he lost 75 pounds the year he left office. How about the president that played the most musical instruments? You're not going to believe this one. Are you ready? Richard Nixon. Tricky Dick played piano, clarinet, accordion, cello, violin, and saxophone. And do you know who the only president was to survive a duel? That would have been Andrew Jackson. He actually carried a bullet lodged in his chest for 40 years. How about the first president to write his own email? That would be our present commander-in-chief, Barack Obama. And the president that owned the most pets? Calvin Coolidge. Six dogs, a bobcat, goose, donkey, a cat, lion cubs, an antelope, a wallaby, and a pygmy hippo. How about the only president to wear sideburns down to his lapels? That would be Chester A. Arthur. And finally, getting back to the question I asked you at the beginning, the only president to never marry, James Buchanan, never married. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And now that we've enlightened you, happy President's Day from all of us here at The Whale.